there and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to come back with a bit more of an in-depth first impressions look at this little stunner that is the unicorn rainbow mermaid bag from the Chanel 20A pre-fall collection or the matriarch collection which I unboxed in my last video. I think that it is a real standout fabulous piece and rather than just in the unboxing I thought it really deserved a little bit more attention than that and I know certainly when it was coming out or bags like this are coming out I personally like to watch videos that give just a little bit more information on them and just show us a bit more of them because they're such striking and unique pieces. So I'm going to have a look at Give you a bit more of a tour around the bag my first impressions of it obviously it's brand new so i can't do an in-depth review if that is something you'd like to see later as to how it wears and um, please just leave me a comment in the comment box down below and i will do that no problem i've also taken out a few slgs to have a look at what fits in it and also to compare it with a couple of other chanel mini bags but before we jump into that if you're new or if you're returning and you haven't yet and you enjoy this type of content i do luxury videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Please, if you do enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified. And if you enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up as that would help us with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so this piece is, it is, as I say, from the 20A um, Chanel collection and it is getting so much attention on social media. And I just wanted to start off by giving you an up close look at the bag. Now this is my version, everybody's version is different. There are some photographs on Instagram showing a collage of all the different color um, layouts that they come in. I, I haven't seen two identical yet, um, so they are all different. This is just the layout of mine. So if you look up close, you can have a look at the leather. It is metallic calfskin. It has like a crinkled look if we look close there you can see the crinkles in it it has the shiny gold light wear light gold hardware sorry and um, it is the reissue so it has the reissue lock as opposed to the traditional classic cc intertwined lock it has the reissue chains which um rumor has it are reminiscent of coco chanel's time in the orphanage and then as it is the mini reissue rather than the regular classic flap mini bag it has the four grommets so the beauty with these is that you can either wear the mini re reissue crossbody with the strap long ways or you can double it up and wear it shorter on your shoulder like this which obviously isn't a possibility with the mini rectangle or the mini square unless you use a little bag holder clasp holder in here to hold the chains together so that is a very quick look so if we just have a look at the colors all around it that is the side view this one is quite pink at the side that is the back view so it has a little bit of um orange here mostly pink and then teal green and purple on the mona lisa pocket and then we have pink and yellow up at the top on this side the bottom doesn't obviously have any feet um, is mostly pink with a bit of orange, bit of green and purple here. And then it has these fabulous colours on the flap, which I think the teal, this type of turquoisey teal and purple set beside the pink works really, really well, in my opinion. And I also like the yellow gold colour around the lock. I think they just stand out very well against the other pinky orangey tones. If we take a look on the inside, it's still the crinkled leather. I think the inside of this flap is fabulous. It's still the crinkled leather, but it looks like a rainbow. It's like a perfect um, phasing from the pinks to the yellows to the blues across the top. Then on the inside of the lock, it's mostly orange and yellow. And then the inside of the bag is like a mustardy yellow gold leather. It has Chanel, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it has Chanel made in France stamped on the inside. It has one slip pocket 
just where this little piece of paper is and then it has one zip pocket across the back which still has the authenticity card inside and then it has the hologram on the inside of the bag so that's a very quick tour of it if, you, if you're a neutral lover it's certainly not that it is going to catch some eyes it's going to get some stares and some attention it's definitely not shy and retiring so again it's not a bag that's going to be for everybody personally i love color and print and things that are a little bit different especially in bags and shoes so i absolutely love it but as i said in the unboxing when i seen this on youtube and on instagram i actually wasn't sure at the start i was gonna i was like no not for me it's nice but i'm not gonna buy it and then i seen it in person it is a bag if you have the opportunity to see um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to do a little bit more of an in-depth first impression and up close look at it. Because in person it is far better than it looks in the majority of the photos, including the photos on the Chanel website. It's just, it's so much more striking and beautiful in my opinion. Yeah, and I did measure across the bottom of it because I also have um, the mini reissue from the 2019 Matriarch, I'm gonna get that right one time. <laughs> Matriarch um collection, and it's also the mini reissue, which is in the crumpled calfskin leather with the iridescent graffiti all across it, and you can see that mine kind of goes from purple to green. It did come in gold graffiti as well. I personally like; they're both beautiful. I just um preferred the iridescent colors. But it um, is last year's and it's very slightly bigger than this year's. It's slightly longer. So um, when I set them beside each other, you'll see that this one is just very slightly longer. Metallic Mini from this year is measuring mine anyway across the width at just over seven and a half inches. Whereas the last year's version is just over eight inches and is slightly bigger most of the mini rectangular bags that i have as well are measuring at just around eight inches so this is quite small just if that's something that matters or if you're already struggled with the small bags or the small minis just be aware that this one is quite quite petite but i in saying that i think she's she's fabulous i just think she's absolutely stunning so if we take a look at what fits inside, just to give you um, a bit more of an idea, because she um, she is a mini bag. We're all used to mini bags now, but it does take some downsizing. So first off, if we start with using the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, which would be my kind of everyday type wallet, although I generally don't use it, to be honest, when I'm using mini bags, but I did want to let you see what it looks like with that sort of a size of a wallet in, as opposed to just a card holder. So that is the Victorine wallet. Then if we slip in the back, the key clay. Now I have put things in all of these just to give a more realistic view so i have in here my key fob or my bank fob um, a little sample perfume which i generally carry in very small bags plasters hair ties hair clips that sort of thing so if i put it in along the back and then just to show my phone would squeeze in alongside of it and then i could put my um louis vuitton four ring key holder which does have my keys in it I could put it beside the key clay and I could then put in, squeeze in that little space, the hand sa sanitizer. Now, I suppose if you wanted, you could lay something atop across here. You could lay maybe a bigger perfume or a lipstick, but you don't have much room left in there. This standing up with the height of the bag and because the flap does lift up here, as you can see where the... Um, you can see the tip of the Louis Vuitton for key holder. It will hold it and that all will fit. But that is probably about as much as you're going to fit in there or a variation of those goods. So if I took out, if I was using it, I probably, to be honest, would swap out my Victorine wallet and just use a card holder, which I would normally do in smaller bags. And that's going to give an awful lot more space. We could even then um, pop a lipstick in 
beside it you could probably put if you wanted something on the top you have a bit more space and it's just going to be a little less packed because one of the things that I think people are going to be wary of myself included of the metallic is I think it's going to wear and um, there is a video on YouTube that I watched not that long ago about metallic Chanel bags and the wear on the corner and I do think that this has the potential for the metallic to wear now it's quite if to feel it it is quite sturdy it is quite well done um but i just think it's a bag that you will need or i will need to be a little bit more careful with because i think there's potential that the color could wear off on the corners or even in the bottom from setting it down so it's not a bag that i would want to be overly stuffing but that is it um with the card holder in instead of the victorine wallet and it gives plenty of space in there you know you could put anything that you needed if you needed something else here it's not squished in and that would give some wiggle room and it's not too it's not pressing on this it's closing easy enough and it's not too heavy and that would give an idea if you're thinking about what fits inside if you are interested in this bag i would try and look quickly there is already a bit of a buzz on social media and i think there's potential that it could be sold out very quickly so if you do have an essay or a store to reach out to i would try and do it quickly if you are interested but that's just a little bit more of an in-depth first impression to around the bag give a little bit more info i hope it was helpful i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i will insert now some footage just showing you the bag cross body and what it's like on so I have deliberately put on all black clothing just to let you see the shiny gold of the chain and the colours of the bag against the dark background just so you can get a proper look at what it looks like and just how striking and colourful those colours are. And then because she is the reissue and not the classic mini, you can double up the strap or the chain as we were saying on the four grommets and wear underneath your shoulder if that's how you would prefer or carry handheld like that so that's just to give you an idea of what she looks like and if you do have any comments or questions please just leave them in the comment box down below and i will get back to you as ever i hope you are well i hope you're as family as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs>